Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to finish off the back side of this page and the album that we're working on, which is the homemade Slimline scrapbook album. And we're using the basically amazing foundation printable scrapbook album templates. <laughs> and we're using Mente. We're using the Mente homemade paper collection. I've actually been, I'm actually a little behind. I was sick over the weekend and I didn't get to record or plan or anything. And I'm still not feeling 100%, but I'm feeling way better than I did <laughs> over the weekend. So, um, anyway, I'm feeling kind of sluggish. So if, I, feel like, I feel like I don't have a lot of energy. So if, if, I, if, I, if it's coming across that way on camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a playlist for this album and it starts with the introduction to the templates themselves and then it goes into the covers and whatnot and I will link that up here and down in the description box. The show more section down, down below the video and I've prepped most of the things I'm going to be using so we're going to, I think we're going to start with this page back here. So out of the foundations Oops. These are templates that are available in my Etsy shop, you guys. It does not, it's a digital download. It's not a physical item like this. What I've done is I took the mat for the main base page D because we're making the D size album. I took the mat uh, for that page, which is on 57D, and I. Um, I traced it out onto a piece of cardstock. And the reason I'm, I don't know why I'm hesitating. <laughs> I guess I forgot what I was saying. But I just traced the width of the mat out onto the 80 pound, eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So it was actually longer, it looked like that. So I in, ended up embossing the whole thing using the uh, embossing folder that I, ha I have that linked down below as well. And then I inked it up with the, speckled egg distress oxide uh, after the fact. So the reason I left this piece on there is because remember it shrinks when you emboss. So it shrinks enough that it's really noticeable. So I went ahead and left it on there. And then after that, I took this mat and traced out the bottom, the, the height of it. And so now I've got me a little leftover piece of embossed uh, white cardstock. So we'll have to use that somewhere. And it's the same width as the page, so. Anyway, I will stick that somewhere. So I've got that ready to go. So we're gonna mat with that. And then, that's all we need out of here for right now. When we did, one of the first uh, videos we did in this uh, album, we made this little matchbook style insert. Well, the other part of this is this, these two pieces. So we're gonna use that in the back uh, here. Okay, so this is gonna be matted here. So then um, I already put magnets on the back side of here and covered them with tape because it's gonna be like a, a removable flea, a free floating <laughs> envelope pocket thing. So before we do any more of that, let's Let's attach this down to here so we can quit worrying about it. And I'm gonna use some liquid glue because it is an embossed piece of cardstock and I'm just using Fabri-Tac. Matter of fact, before I do that, I'm gonna take the backing off. This is what we did in the last video. We put those on there, at least I think we did. So today is August 3rd. I think, or is it August 2nd? I'll have to look. So I'm behind. I'm just behind, period. That stuff smells so bad. It didn't used to. And apparently, you guys are backing me up on that because you know what I'm talking about. It did not used to smell so bad. All right. I mean, it's always had a strong smell, but it, this is like bad. So I don't know, I don't know if they've changed it or what. So today is 
August 3rd. Okay, so see, that looks nice. So then that's when I was like, well, let's use this. Um, let's use this envelope, this tall envelope, and have it as a removable pocket. So I, I added the magnets, and then I, I scored and inked and taped the second part of it. So I'm going to put it together because I don't think, I don't think, um, I need to do anything else. Oh, I did make it to where I could attach the bottom to the two side pieces so that it doesn't get, nothing gets stuck on it. I don't know why I put that away. Attach those down. And then I think I'm going to use these butterflies. These are the freebies from Artie Mays, and I think I'm going to use it as a closure, but I'm going to have it to put a magnet in there. So I cut two out. These are the two larger ones, and I inked them on the back as well, but at that's I, but I kind of laid them on top of each other and then trimmed them out to where they were almost exactly the same. You know what I mean? So, I think what I'm going to do is, there's the magnet, I just need to make sure that, well, I can do it like this, I can put the magnet, let me grab the magnet, or maybe I can just use a magnet saver, I didn't think of that, let's see if that'll keep it closed, I bet it will, wait a minute, let me put a layer underneath there. I bet it will. Okay. Let me see. Can I use a bigger magnet saver so that it that one might be too big? Whoa. I have a whole list of resources for magnets and magnet savers down below. Magnet savers is just a little disc. And the magnets stick to it. So, so I was thinking about kind of, it's either that or having it perfectly straight. I kind of like it this way better. Or do I? Maybe I'll do it like that. Let me put a piece of, let me put a glue dot actually on there. Let's see if I can get it on there. So now I've got the magnet placed where I want it. I think I'm going to just use some liquid glue and I'm going to go along the top here. Now, I know um, this is going to be upside down, this butterfly, but I just thought it might be cute just to have it like the same. Do you know what I mean? 
And so I, when I inked the back, I did that just in case it wasn't perfectly lined up. And that way you, would, you wouldn't see stark white cardstock. So these butterflies are in Artie Maze's Facebook group. They are linked down below. If you want to check them out, you get like a whole sheet. And they're perfect for this project. Okay, so there's that. And sometimes uh, simple is better. And I really am kind of digging that. We are going to make an insert for that, but we're going to make it the same time we make another one. Well, I've already made one, but we're going to make another one. Okay, so I was thinking, um, I've got an idea for here. So let me grab those things. Wait a minute. Where's the one thing? Oh, here it is. Um, I don't need my templates at the moment. So we printed out a bunch of pages that had um, that had this on here. So we printed out, this is the mat for this page here, actually, that's what this is. So we printed out a bunch of pages because we needed the mats for, um, well, not that side. <laughs> we needed the mats for these. So we have a bunch left over, so I'm gonna use it. And so we'll be matting this page like this. Actually, let's do it. And I am going to use glue. I think I'll just use it. Oh, sorry. Glue again. I could use my tape runner, but um, this is sitting right here. And why not? Okay. Oops. Need to make sure this is right. Close enough. And then I took, do you remember the page that we did the fussy cutting out of the page that I said um, fun ways to use those 12 by 12 images that you don't want to cut up? This is the top half of one of those pages. So I ended up fussy cutting this top corner out and then this piece was one of the journaling cards that I fussy cut out. In fact, here's the, here's those other pieces there. And so I cut these out and inked them up. And I think what I want to do is have like a tuck down here like this. And then have this up here. You know, and it have it have it going um, following all the way across, even though it's just going to be a little bit there on the end. But still, I thought that's what I would do. So I'm gonna take and add some glue to the bottom of this, just really quick. So it's gonna be like a little side tuck. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this and cut it um, um, let's get the paper trimmer out so I got a straight cut there. Ooh. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. might have to add a butterfly or something because we can't just have this little bitty bit over here. So it would look like this. So I'm going to attach this down except I'm going to leave it again it's going to be like a tuck. This is not going to be a tuck, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. I 
actually I'm going to pull it away from the edge just a little bit. All right, so should we add a butterfly? Let's see. I've got some of the little pink ones. We can maybe fussy cut. We can maybe fussy cut one of the green ones. I don't know. I kind of like. I kind of like that. Let's just add that. It's just one of the little ones from the freebie. So I'm just going to add him on here. And then we'll make uh, a fun insert. Okay, so I wanted to do like a little insert here. So I've already made one. So let me show you what I'm thinking. Because I want to do the same insert for here and here, only because I've already made one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I took page 45 AD, which is this page right here. This is the insert for that tall envelope, so it's page 45 AD, and I traced out the height, and then I traced out the width, and I'll just do one with you. And then I folded it over several times. And then we did, we did a wax seal. We did, I did a wax seal. So my thought was, I don't know if I should stick this in here yet. I could stick this in here like a little secret message, you know, like a little hidden message to either yourself or to someone, you know, someone. Let me see if the magnets will still hold. Because that would really be stinky Pete if it didn't, huh? I don't know if it's still going to hold. Well, I guess it's okay. It's like a page on its own now. But anyway, so I thought we would make one of those. So I do believe, actually, this is uh, some paper that someone gave to me uh, a couple years ago at MadeItCon. Pretty sure it might have been Lois. Is this your paper, Lois? So what I'm going to do... I'm going to take my traceable template here and I'm going to mark it in two, 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 three places. Okay, so I'm going to mark it in just a couple places. So I marked the width of one and the height. Then I'm going to grab my scoreboard and I'm going to score where I marked, whoops, got a little off, fold it, and then I'm going to score next to that mark, fold it, and then I'm going to score next to that, whoop, next to that mark. Well, I keep getting off. And fold it again. Alright. Now I'm going to fold it a different way. And that way I can use the mark to cut off the part that I need. Cut off. my candle over and I'm going to wa wax, I'm going to melt some wax real quick. I'm going to do three. The wax beads are in my Amazon list that's special for this. May have gotten a bit of a, a hiccup there. Some 
somebody asked me recently about uh, what Etsy seller I prefer to buy my coffee stained paper from. And I can't give you an answer on that because I don't buy my coffee stained paper. I always, um, always do it myself. So, yeah, I'm sorry I can't give you guys a specific. Maybe I should buy from several sellers and see how good their coffee stained paper is. <laughs> Maybe that's something I need to do. Okay, I don't think I'm going to need my rose quartz coaster, but I'm going to have it sitting here just in case. Well, while we're waiting on that to melt, you guys asked to see pictures of my grandkids, so I will show you a couple really quick. This is my granddaughter. This is today. Look at, look at how cute she is. That's today. And then this is my grandson. And that was last week. Isn't he cute? Yep. They, uh, they're definitely something special. They're so cool. Grandchildren are so cool, am I right? I'm right. <laughs> okay, I think it's actually uh, almost melted. Let me give it a few more minutes. I have a hard time figuring out which way is up. I don't guess it matters. No matter which way you look at it, it could be the right side up. Well, that's good. That's good to know. It'll also determine what side your wings are on. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna pour this right here on the flat. I mean, obviously you would wanna write the message first or have this loose, whichever, before you seal it up. I always do the ones off camera way better than I do the ones on camera. I don't understand what's going on there. Okay, that shouldn't take but a minute to harden. Now look, look it. <laughs> Why do I always do the ones off camera better? Check that out. Good grief. I almost want to do it again. Whoop. Don't don't poke it. Yeah. But we're, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that one. Look at how perfect that one is. That one just is the perfection. This one is going in the envelope, so it'll be fine. It will be fine. So I think all we need to do is we need to let that harden and then we can stick it in our envelope here. Yeah, Oop. I'm gonna have to seal that. I think it's a little bit finer. Cause that's probably where I'll try to pick it up every time. Yeah, that's a cute little, cute little closure there. We could have done a wax seal there instead. It's still just a little too warm. And again, obviously, you could have left this open. Um, you didn't have to seal it down tight if you hadn't written in it yet. You could just go ahead and just leave this flap open and then pour the wax seal on just this edge. And then when you fold it back up, it looks like it's closed, but it's not. So you could totally have done that as well. All right, I think it's good or good enough. And then I'm going to stick this in here. So it's like a little secret message. We got spots for two little secret messages, right? I think that's all we're going to do. I don't think we're going to embellish any more than that. Sometimes simple is better. Sometimes simple is beautiful, you know? 
So yeah, I really like the way this page turned out. I really like the little hidden message, the little secret message. Oh, did you see that? Oh, you know what I did, I bet you. Hang on. Did I put the wax seal right where the magnet is? I bet you that's exactly what I did. Oh, let me scoot that down a little bit. You know what, I'm gonna have to shorten it. Man, I'm gonna have to shorten it because it's right where the, where the uh, magnet is. I wasn't paying any attention. Okay, that's okay. No big deal. Let's start off with a quarter of an inch-ish. Sometimes you just have to problem solve. Let's see how that does. Oh, there we go. Okay, that worked. Problem solved. All right, yeah. I think that's all we're gonna do today, you guys. Um, do let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this simple page. And be sure that you're subscribed to my channel and have that bell notification toned on. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.